Hello, it's Mark. Welcome to day 21 of our 2022 Whiskey Advent Calendar by Flavor. So, um, I really don't know what to say at this point. We're down to the final stretch here. Just three more days after today. So, today we have something that is 43% ABV, which seems to be what most of the things in this... Uh, Oh, oh, that seems dark. I bet. That is... Ooh. That is bizarre. That is really, really bizarre. I can ooh, really smell that thing. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, let me show it to you. No idea. 43% is probably chill filtered. I don't know about color, but that's awful dark. So, all right, let's see if I can get any. If I can get any legs on there. So, we've had pretty good mix. We've had some bourbons, rice, world whiskeys couple of scotches, Irish whiskeys. We've had several Irish whiskeys. Um, I don't, we've had no single, well, no scotch single malts. Um, I've had a scotch blend. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, so I would say this is heavy on the world whiskey because um, what the day before yesterday was Taiwanese. We've had a Japanese, we've had a Danish whiskey, we've had a Israel, Israel whiskey. Um, so I would definitely say heavy on the world whiskeys. Bourbons at the beginning weren't very strong, but they've come, had a lot of bourbons last towards the end here. Ryes have been really scarce. I think we've only had two ryes and here we're 20 days in. So, um, oh, wow, there's lots of legs on that. I don't know how much you can see of those legs, but we've got all kinds of legs going. So, okay, this has a very strange... Oh, this smells weird. It smells like orange. Clove. It smells like Christmas. Like, you know, that stuff you make that scents the air that has like cloves and orange peel in it? That's what this smells like. Cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon in there. Clove, orange peel. Like a lot of orange. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Some, maybe a little bit of toffee in there. Um, toffee or caramel, but very little. It's this orange clove cinnamon up front. I'm getting a little hint of fruit. Like baked apple, but really it's this orange clove thing. I have no idea what this is. None. The only thing that comes to mind was Compass Box did a, a, an orange infused whiskey like years ago. That's been way off the market, so I know this isn't that. But I and I, I don't know that I tried that, but it just. Seems like this is not something that's, I'm not, not necessarily unpleasant if you put your mind at ease and don't think of this as this is whiskey. I mean, it feels like it's not an, like I said, it, you know, those little warmers that warm, that make the house smell good with cloves and cinnamon and uh, orange in it. There is definitely some fruit in there, though. 
well, orange is a fruit, but like some some little bit of melon and baked baked apples or baked pears. So, all right. This is so, so sweet. This is like syrup. What I, this is so, so sweet. I don't necessarily dislike it, but if I was wanting whiskey, I don't know that this would be This is bizarre. This is so, this is like syrup. This is like drinking orange, but it's sweeter than or like sweet, sweet orange syrup with cloves and cinnamon and sugar. You know what this reminds me of? Okay, when I make baklava, the syrup I pour on top, although that has more, um, I don't know. That's what this reminds me of. Okay, so if you've ever had baklava, that that the syrup that goes on top of that that drenches in and makes it uber rich, which is base, which is really just sugar, cloves, um, orange peel. I don't know. There's I can't remember. There's cinnamon in the syrup. There's cinnamon in the in the filling, but I'm not sure about the syrup. But yes, orange clove sweet 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 syrup it hasn't changed the orange clove sweetness is overpowering I don't know what to say about this. No idea. Man, that is sweet. Clove and baking all spice and baking spices, sugary syrup, orange. I don't know why where I would put this. I don't think I need this on my shelf. It's not a, I mean, it's certainly drinkable. So I'm going to go five out of 10. Um, I might go six. It's definitely not a seven. A seven, seven means it has to be on my shelf. It's definitely not a seven. I think five's right. This is a five, five out of 10. Reveal. I, I have this liking towards it, but. I don't know when I would drink this. Orange. Clove. Not Clive, clove. Um, syrup. Um, what else did I say? Orange, clove, syrup, there's some cinnamon. Baking spices, because they definitely get all spice in there too. If this doesn't put the sweet all the way at six, then they don't, whoever did that doesn't know what they're talking about. Okay, 
Ooh, wow, they put it up. My my options here again are things I have to rate it against are um, the Japanese whiskey, the Irish whiskey, and the Westward. Now, the Japanese whiskey I did not like at all, so I would definitely pick this over that. But that Irish whiskey was fantastic, and I love 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 Westward. So uh, Westward gets a gets a, slide it all the way over to five. All right, let's see what it is. Hercules Mulligan Rum and Rye, 43% ABV. It says ginger, honey, bitter. It is not bitter at all. It's not spicy at all. Oak, exotic fruit, vanilla. Burn, sweet, spicy. They don't know what they're talking about. That is not spicy at all. That sweet needs to be all the way over to six. That's not spicy at all. I could drink a whole bottle of that and not not flinch. There's no burn whatsoever. No spot. No, there's no spice in there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They're wrong. All right. We'll see you tomorrow.